All right. So if I were uh, interviewing Joe Biden and uh, Lester Holt on NBC will interview the president on Monday. And I'm hoping that Lester, who I know very well because I work with him at Channel 2 in New York, I'm hoping that Lester will ask the pertinent questions that need to be asked in a way that provides the president with no wiggle room, no gotcha questions. That's not what I do. Okay, we ask questions that pertain directly to the American people. So I have 10 questions I want to ask Joe Biden. All right, the first one is, it might be a good thing for Americans if you had an independent neurological exam, your opponent as well. That could reassure some citizens, will you do it? Now, the answer to that question will be, as it was in the past, by, well, watch me. All right, my, my uh, neurological exam is every day in the White House. And then I'd have to break in and say, okay, I'm taking that as a no. You will not reassure the American people by taking a neurological exam. That's it. It's over. Can't force them to do it. That's question number one. Question number two. So far, your immigration policies have cost the American taxpayers about a half a trillion dollars, and that's rising. How can you justify that? Now, that question would befuddle Biden because he doesn't even know how much it's cost and he doesn't know why the border is open and he doesn't know anything about it. So that would just blow him right off the stage, that question. Third question. Deaths from narcotics have risen 36 percent on your watch, Mr. President. Why? You don't get more simple. I'm a simple man. That's a simple question. You're asking the president of the United States why drug ODs are up 30 percent, 36 percent on his watch. Why? Now, he probably blamed Trump or some absurdity like that. But everybody will hear it. Fourth question. Grocery prices have increased 21 percent since the start of your term. Why? Same thing. He'll blame Trump. But you have to get the question on the record. And everybody will see the trans, you know, the Trump haters, they discount them. OK. All right. Next price. Um, average price of gas up 38 percent. Why? So that's three in a row. OK. You got grocery, you got gas, you got drug deaths. Why? Why is all the rise? Biden doesn't know. He'll default. It's Trump's fault. But when people start to see that craziness, that means something. Okay, then we go on to another question. Why did your administration, Mr. President, abandon $7 billion worth of weapons to the Taliban? Another simple question. The U.S. Pentagon, the military, knew by cutting and running from Afghanistan, they're going to have to leave seven billion dollars weapons in the hands of terrorists. Why did you OK it as commander in chief? Simple. Biden doesn't know. But again, you put him in the position of having to answer. that. Now, I can't blame Trump for that. I mean, me probably try. OK, next question. Do you support any restrictions on abortion whatsoever? Anything. It's a yes or no question, but Biden would then go rambling into reproductive rights, protecting women, ramble, ramble, ramble. You'd have to ask the question again to follow up. Look, any restrictions whatsoever? And he's not going to say yes, because that would alienate his far left base. So then the follow up question to that, and this is the most provocative question in my top 10. Considering Catholic doctrine and you believe in that, are you concerned you will be held accountable for your abortion stance after you die? Well, you can't blame Trump, <laughs> right? Now, that is a tough question. So if he is a Catholic, he says he is, after you die... You may have a problem here. I'd love to hear the answer to that one. That goes right to his core 
core belief system. Next question, do you support a wealth tax whereby the federal government would demand payments on unrealized investment gains? That means if you have a gain on paper, you'd have to pay a tax on it to the federal government. That is a wealth tax. Yes or no, Mr. President? Now, he doesn't even know what a wealth tax is. So I don't know how he answers that. All right. Finally, and this is the crusher of all crushers. Mr. President, you appointed Vice President Harris to explore the root causes of illegal immigration. What did she report back to you? How about that question, huh? What did she report back two and a half years ago? Think Biden could answer that? All right. Now, we posted all of those questions on BillOReilly.com so you can download them. I want you to see if any of those questions are asked tonight in the press conference, because they're all unbelievably simple. Everyone in the world will understand the question. Okay. And they all pertain directly to this country's welfare. Now, the White House Correspondents Corps is basically weak. So I go back to Britt Hume, Sam Donaldson, Dan Rather with Nixon. And yes, uh, Nick uh, Donaldson and Rather were liberal people, but they were tough. All right. They asked tough questions. And Britt Hume, very smart. That's where I go back. Now, what you have in that room are a bunch of inexperienced people who don't know history, most of them. They don't know anything about what happened before. They're younger. They often do what they are told to do. So they'll, a corporation runs their um, operation, like Comcast, NBC, they'll get a list of questions. We want you to ask this, and then the correspondent will ask it. Okay? Peter Ducey is the most aggressive. He's at the Fox News White House correspondent because Fox is in business to make Biden look bad. That's why they're in business. Everything is expensive these days. You know that the government is printing trillions of dollars in consumer prices higher than ever. If the government continues its printing and spending, the dollar could continue its free fall and lose its coveted role as the world reserve currency. Let's hope that doesn't happen. But there are a few things you can do right now. American Hartford Gold can show you how to protect your money, your retirement, your hard-earned savings against inflation by helping you diversify a portion of your portfolio into physical gold and silver. Start with a short phone call, and they can have physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or put inside your 401k or IRA. So please call or text them right now. Tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you. Call 877-444-GOLD, 877-444-GOLD, or text GOLD to 65532. Again, that's 877-444-GOLD, or text GOLD to 65532. Thank you for watching the No Spin News. To watch the full episode anytime on BillOReilly.com, please sign up to become a premium or concierge member. Visit BillOReilly.com to sign up and start watching today.